Okay, what I'm going to attempt to do and demonstrate this video is how to turn uh, a 16 millimeter projector into a Telson projector by installing a 5 blade, which will put the camera in sync. So when you copy it, you won't have uh, the, the movie, you won't have the flicker because it's 24 frames with the 5, makes it in sync. And that's how the networks used to show uh, movies before the digital age. So this is the website you would go to get the manual. You need the service manual before you do this. You don't want to attempt to do this uh, without it. And it's www.film-tech.com, and it's a great site, and they have loads of uh, projector manuals, and they're all free. You can print them out. Okay, this is the EQ Super Slot 2. It's a very popular model, and I got it over started already. First thing you do is there's a button here, uh, it's a rear, rear cover lock screw. You just take that out, and there you go. Now what I'm going to attempt to do is replace this two blade with the five blade. You need to take this out first, install in the manual, move this pulley thing, take this piece out, I think it's only held by two screws. Luckily, it's just the very top. You just take the top off, you put it back, uh, screw it in, test it out, see if you don't have a ghost figure or whatnot. Should work fine. So, uh, I'm not mechanically inclined. I just uh, have uh, my trusty Leatherman and a few screw screwdrivers and a little paintbrush. Might as well dust it out while I'm while I'm doing it. Maybe put a little 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 oil if I see on the manual where to do that since I got it open. And that's pretty much it. Now also, what you need to do, I remember reading in the manual, it's a different point, is if you have silent film, you need to actually change the where the levers are. This thing, you have to move it over. So, because if it's jamming up, because it's that's for sound and that is for, for uh, no sound. You know, double perforated film. Again, best to always get the manual, and I told you this site, I'm not affiliated with them, and I'm grateful that they have this manual so I can, so I can do this, so I don't have to pay uh, $14 for every 100 feet. What I'll do is I'll, I'll change it, and then any home movies or movies that I shoot, I can project them on the wall and copy them my Lumo XGH1 in high definition, and I'm pretty confident the quality would be good. So wish me luck. I'll... Get to part two once I start assembling this and give you some more updates. Thank you.